guys, so today's hair we are working with is from you, Lair Hair. Um, this is the packaging, and we're gonna go ahead and get right into the unboxing. So we do have the hair, and I do have a wig cap as well. So I do have their 13 by 6 deep natural 24 inch wig. Um, the density on this unit is 180%. And this is the beauty right here. Okay. I love that it comes secured. Very, very secured in the hairnet. And here we are. Okay. All right, guys. So this is what the hair is looking like. We're going to go ahead and do our touchy feely. Um, I did get a few snags, if you guys see. But I always do that. We do have to test the hair right out the packaging. Okay. So I've got one or two snags. Of course, it needs to be tangled. But this is the pattern of the hair straight out of the packaging and I'm just separating the curls so you guys can see what you're gonna be getting um, so this is the construction of the unit as you guys can see there's a comb on the side there's a comb on the side as you guys see this is the amount of space you get to create your parting with 13 by 6 okay and it's a comb at the nape comb at the nape along with the drawstring Right, guys so this is what the unit is looking like when I first put it on the head on my hair I did not put any anything on it as of yet as you guys can see it does come with some baby hairs they wanted to make sure you know we knew what we was doing so they did give us a guideline for some baby hairs this is how the unit is plucked okay as you guys can see right here now this unit right now I can tell you off the bat I love 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 the way it fits to my head it fits perfectly as you guys can see I'm not gonna have to cut much off besides the actual section of the ear tab because it fits around there perfectly okay okay let's stop looking like this now I'm gonna go ahead and comb this back up for now so I can go ahead and cut it so y'all I'm excited So I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys how I put foundation on my lace. I know. All right, guys. So here's what you're gonna do. So you take your wig and you're just gonna turn it inside out. Now you're only gonna focus on the lace portion. Now you guys see foundation all right on it is because I didn't wipe my hairline off and I do have makeup there. Take your foundation. I'm using Born to Glow, Born to Glow by NYX, or NYX, however you got to say it. Um, I'm in the shade Cappuccino. I think I said Sienna last time. Actually, that was not my shade, y'all. When I went out to the sunlight, girl, it wasn't my shade. So, I'm just going to pour some on the back of my beauty blender and then, you know, just blend it in so it won't be like big clumps and stuff. Now, this ain't dirty, y'all. I just did my makeup today, so don't even try to come for me. So, we're going to take this booty, this big old booty, right? And you're just going to pounce it all over the lace, okay? And you want to do it to the point it's covered, okay? Now, I'm trying to keep it still. Now, this lace texture is a little bit different than what I'm used to. I don't know if it needs to be washed a little bit, but it is a little bit different. But anyway, you're just going to go ahead and pounce it all over. And you want to make sure. Now, this lace already looks tinted. Don't get me wrong. It does, but it's not my color. So, that's all you're really going to do. Like I said, just pour some on the back, smear it out. You don't want any big clumps of foundation all over the place. So I just smudge it in there. And then we're just going to bounce that big old booty again all over the lace until it's fully covered to your foundation. Now, some people use powder. To me, powder, I mean, you could set this with powder. Like, I don't, you know, but I just, I feel like I really get the effects of it when I use the foundation. Um, I don't normally let it dry, if you guys are wondering. It just low-key dries if that makes sense but this is the alternative to tinting your lace um i feel like tinting it is easier i mean it, it has a longer lasting result but you know this is the quick way just because you don't got time to do all that like because sometimes i don't so you want to make sure your entire unit's covered with the foundation especially the areas that you're going to be parting with so i know it looks crazy it looks disgusting probably but that's all you really have to do. You make sure you get the edges so it can blend right in with your skin tone. That's the most important part. 
is getting these edges here. So it can look like your scalp, your skin, your forehead, wherever you're putting it. Oops, I just threw that on the ground. So this is what it looks like, okay? We back in the building. We back at it. Now, as you guys can see, that looks 20 times better. You, you, got, you just got to go out into this world like somebody is checking for your waist, okay? That's how you got to go about it. Woo! Why am I out of breath? All right, so now I'm going to go ahead and secure it down. First, I'm going to go ahead and wipe off my hairline, though. guys so she is fully secured and laid down so i'm going to go ahead and wrap her up just for a little bit so she can like marinate a little more uh i said marinate like she's this type of food all right so we gonna let her sit for a good 10 minutes i'm gonna you know get me a little snack and look around and just be weird So today's snack of the day is some twist out. These are off brand Oreos. And we got some black premium popcorn. I'm not about to pay $4 for Oreos when these, I mean, they don't taste the same, but it's still good. It's still good. I'm gonna eat two though. I have this bad thing where if I'm eating and watching stuff, yo, I ate like a pack of cookies in one day. That's when I realized I had a problem. <clears throat> and these popcorn right here, this take me back to my high school days. Mm. Snacks in school was like 50 cent. And I never had 50 cent. Some water, this should make it healthy. We return you now to your regularly scheduled program. Alright y'all, so I started off with the Tangle Taming Leave-In Conditioner. I added that first so it can just give my hair a little bit of moisture. Um, next I'm going in with the Moroccan Curling Perfection Defining Cream. Be a little bit more defined. I always go a little bit heavy on this stuff. It's really good in defining your curls and just making your curl pattern last. Like... Cause I'm low key doing the uh, wet hair look. I just like curls the way it looks when it's wet. And then I just go back on top of it with just a little bit of water just to seal everything in. And then I'm gonna use my uh, Denman. Is it called Denman brush or denim brush? Then I'm gonna go back in with my denim brush and brush the product through there. And that's basically how I'm gonna do every side. And then you scrunch it up like this. And this helps the curl pattern be defined, pattern be defined as well. Like that. Then I'm just gonna go in with a. Uh, some of the Eco Styling Professional Olive Oil Gel. This gel, I love it. It doesn't make your hair hard and your hair is gonna be nice and soft. And then this just adds it like an extra security to have that curl pattern locked. Curl pattern locked in. So I'm gonna do this all over my head, the same process 
I just wanted to come in just to show you guys what I was doing. I believe I have a video already on this on my channel, but this is what I'm doing to lock in it. And then I'm just gonna go in lastly with a little bit of Wave Whip Curly Mousse by Cantu. Right, guys so this is the final look i really really love how this look came out now i was trying to do the no baby hair look but y'all baby hair is just make it i don't know i just can't I, I gotta work on it i really gotta work on trying to you know install units without including baby hairs but i really really am in love with this curl powder uh with this hair i noticed like when i got out of the package it was a little bit on the dry side like i said i didn't co-wash this unit either so um once i actually put um conditioner in it it actually just softened and buttered right on up and it was very very easy to work with after that during the detangling process process i did get shedding you know with curly hair units you will expect shedding with any unit in general you're gonna have shedding so this unit will uh slightly shed on you during the detangling process and i did get a little bit of shedding as well um when i was doing the curly hair routines but y'all this curly powder is beautiful i feel like it's definitely definitely winter friendly you know we pull out our curly hair in the winter okay because it's long and it's beautiful and you can wear it and you ain't gotta worry about being so hot but y'all this is a bomb unit okay it's very very pretty i added some concealer onto the part they already had a part there so i just used it that i mean you can go in and thin it out if you want but i love the density on this unit i like it overall because it looks natural um it's not doing too much but if i would go in and pluck it i would think it would look you know not natural all the information in regards to this hair will be listed down to the description section below i really hope you guys enjoyed this video and until next time you'll go we'll see you later bye guys